everyone and welcome to yet another video of mine um, it has been a long time I know it's been a long time I know but I'm back at least and today I will be focusing on how to do my signature twist out I just recently came back from my football training I know I look probably very exhausted but um, this pretty much is the best day to do it uh, I'm gonna do my twist out on freshly washed hair. I use the Pearl 2C shampoo and conditioner, which is really good. I really find that the conditioner makes my hair um, soft. So, as you can see, I have a lot of shrinkage. My hair does shrink a lot. So, yeah. Now, let's get it started. I will start off by sectioning my hair into the adequate size I want for my twist out and then proceed with moisturizing my hair with my All Natural Hair Butter by Dark and Lovely making sure I apply it from roots to ends. Moving on to one of my favorite curling creams it's the Curl Ala by Auntie Jackie's. I will apply a generous amount. Um, the more I apply, the better the definition. To seal off the moisture, I will then use my um, black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and detangle if necessary. I will then split my section into two strands and proceed in twisting the strands. I will add any extra curling cream if I feel necessary. Moving towards the end, I will avoid twisting it and rather twirl it around my finger. This way it will avoid having knots and frizz. So I then start the process all over again, getting my section, applying the moisture, then applying the curling cream, always making sure I apply it generously and sealing off with my oil. The texture of my hair differs around my head. So the closer I move to the middle of the hair, the more coily it becomes. Therefore, I can not only use a detangling comb, but rather detangling brush. This way, it will detangle my hair properly so that it avoids knots. Then the final parts proceed with twisting, right to the end, well, not really the end, but once you reach the end, I just twirl it around my finger. my last section always following the procedure which goes from moisturizer to curling cream to oil and then finally twisting it and just like that we are done and that is my twist out I will be doing a quick recap of the products I have used in this video because initially it was very blurry so here it goes I use a spray bottle that contains only water, vitamin E oil and tea tree oil uh, my detangling brush and detangling comb the All Natural Hair Butter by Dark and Lovely 
the Kolala by Auntie Jackie's and the last one Jamaican black cast oil to seal in all the moisture. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the morning. Rise and shine and welcome back to the second part of my twist out. This is the time that I unravel my twist to finalize the look. I sleep with the satin bonnet, you know, just to protect the twists throughout the night and to make sure that they remain intact. I will start by hydrating my twists so that they're not too dry while I'm unraveling. And then I will proceed by applying oil onto my twists as well as putting it on my fingers so that while I'm unraveling my twists, I have very little frizz. I will start by untwisting my twists. I will twist my twist <laughs> in the opposite direction in which I twist it, and that way it will naturally separate from the two strands. Then I will further separate each strand into um, smaller sections if I may put it that way and while I'm separating I will just gently pull apart the section and I will separate it where it naturally separates so I'm not forcing my hair to separate I am only separating it where it naturally separates Please don't mind my horrible split ends. I will attend to them as soon as possible. Um, you can see my split ends by when I separate my twist. There are a few strands that are much longer than others. This is because I've created a small little ball at the tip of my hair um, by my end. So I will trim my hair very soon. Also, for those of you who have noticed, if you haven't, I'm glad, but if you have, um, you may find that the camera view is pretty close to my face. Um, I accidentally forgot to zoom out and only realized it once I had finished untwisting my whole head, which was way too late to start over. But nonetheless, at least you have a good close up view of what's pretty much happening so as you can see I'm naturally separating it where it separates and as I separate it I'll twirl it around my fingers just so that the shape can keep itself and the curls can stay intact. There is also a method to how you untwist your twist out you can either do it section by section untwist the twists and then once you untwisted everything, go back and separate it more so that you can obviously monitor the shape you want to keep on your head. I will then start by creating a side path using bobby pins. I will pin down the one side of my head just to create a little bit of dimension to my hairstyle.
will then use a pick just to fluff out my hair just to create a little bit more volume to it but not necessarily going to do too much so that it doesn't ruin the curls and I'll focus more on the hair closer to my head to so the roots not entirely in the mood to slick my edges this time around so I'll just brush them down sorry guys this just might take a while And that is it for my final look, my signature twist out. Thank you for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.